comments. And they commented a couple comments before, um, just saying that pretty much how can I defend um, my best friend because the post that I made was about addiction. And here's the deal. I don't know how many times she has to say it or I have to say it. But that is my best friend. We talk on the regular. She is not using. You guys may assume that she's using, but nobody, not one single person has proof that she is using. That's the thing. These are all assumptions. All of it. These are assumptions. Now, this comment, um, this person told me that their issue with Maya is that their family members had cancer. And um, reading this comment is very sad and it makes me um, want to cry, you know, because this is a hard comment to read. But with that said, your family's cancer is not the same as hers. Everybody's bodies are different. And you cannot say you don't like her because she has cancer. Because you assume that she doesn't. Because nobody has came up with proof that she does not have it or hadn't had it or is not in remission or um, has not been cured. Nobody, not one person claiming that she is not sick has proof that she is not sick. Until that day, and after that, that is my best friend, regardless. Regardless. You know, and I don't have to worry about after that because I know that she is sick. But my friend's health is nobody's business but hers. She chose to come on this app and try to find comfort um, and and a group to help her through her illness, and she got backlash. She got backlash. She came to TikTok as a safe place and talked about her illnesses, and all she's received is hate and backlash from people that cannot prove that she is not ill, that does not have proof. She doesn't owe anybody anything any further. If I came on this app and got backlash for something, I wouldn't give on. 